Hey everyone, welcome back to the BNS channel. My name is Edie. This is going to be a four year, three month update after my gastric bypass that I had. Um, back in May of 2018, May the 4th, um, I had gastric bypass. Um, I was approximately 255 pounds on a five foot four frame and my body was feeling it. Um, yeah, my, my dad passed away when he was 56 years old, um, from diabetes and heart complications and all kinds of things. And I really believe sometimes that, um, if this surgery hadn't been so taboo back in the day, he might still be here. I don't know. Uh, obviously his destiny was to, uh, die early and that's a very sad thing for the rest of us. Um, but he's no longer in pain and, and there's a blessing behind that. So I kind of wanted to update you, um, and let you know the process that I went through, um, just so that you have an idea. I know there's a lot of you that follow me on here for, uh, this purpose, and I just kind of want to give you my experience. So when I first got the surgery within the first eight or nine months, I lost a lot of weight. I went down very quickly. Um, so much so that I was at, I think my lowest weight was 137 pounds. And that was like a year from surgery date. And I kind of held that for about six months. Um, and then I kind of started creeping up a little bit, which they say that that happens. And I'll be honest with you, 137 for me, I think was just too thin. Um, I think I would have been happy to stay. Well, my brain was making, um, if you're seeing these, these are those, uh, MD patches, vitamin patches. Um, my brain was telling me that I wanted to be 137. My brain was telling me that my goal weight was 144. And so I really struggled mind wise after that, when I started to gain back into the one forties and went right into the head game of, Oh my gosh, I got to lose weight. Right. So we, we play these games with ourselves. Um, and so I stayed in the one 45 to 153 range for probably two years. And then in this last year, I brought back all my bad habits. Look, this is not an easy way out. People think that this surgery is an easy way out. And I'm sorry, I'm here to tell you that it's not. It's a boost it's a kickstart. It's a, or a jump start. Um, but ultimately you have to do the work as though you hadn't had surgery, right? It's all right here. Um, so today, where am I at today? I am at 171 pounds. I brought back all of the food. I reintroduced foods that I never should have introduced again. And that is my problem. So if you're just starting out, I would plead with you that you just don't reintroduce foods that you know are going to get you in trouble. And for me, it's carbs, bread, period. My body does not know how to metabolize the sugar that comes from bread. I am insulin resistant. And my metabolism, I'm 52 years old, so my metabolism has slowed. Um, I'm in, I'm actually probably close to being out of menopause. I'm in menopause right now. And so there's a lot contributing to the fact that I can easily gain weight. So I, um, I know that a, a hundred, when I was coming down, at 175 pounds is when I felt this shift in my body, meaning that I felt lighter. My joints didn't seem so pressured. I, 
energy wise had gotten some energy back. And so I think we all have this threshold that our body says, you go above this and you and I are going to have a, we're going to have it out. Um, if you can stay below this, we're going to be okay. We're going to feel good. So at 171, I'm teetering. I'm teetering. I can feel it in my joints. Um, I'm not as healthy as I had been. And so here we're four years out, right? And they say that that's very typical. Um, and so I incorporate, well, I'm going to tell you about two weeks ago, I was 177. So I woke up that morning, very upset. Um, I had myself cry and stepped in into overdrive. So the last few months I've been traveling, uh, I had COVID. There was just a lot of non-normalcy. Does that make sense? If that's a word. Um, to my life. And I allowed myself to do whatever I wanted to do in the eating realm. Um, and that was a very bad thing for me to do. So I, I personally enjoy intermittent fasting. Um, I do 18 and six ish. Um, so I do 18 of fasting and six of eating. And that tends to make me feel really good. Like my energy is there. I'm, I'm not bloated. And I pay attention to what I'm eating in that six hour time frame. Now, am I not allowing myself to eat some of the things that I enjoy? No, but for instance, the other day, um, my husband and I are celebrating our seventh wedding anniversary and we bought carrot cake and I had a bite. I had a slice, not a bite. And I felt so bad after. So when you remove those types of foods and you try to introduce them, you need to be listening. Listen to your body. If it doesn't feel good, don't do it again. Right? Don't do it again. So I'm not having any more carrot cake. Um, and honestly, one of the things that I had learned back in the day that I need to reintroduce into my life is the two bite rule. The two bite rule means you can have two bites of anything, but that's it. After two bites, you cannot have that anymore. The other thing that I had incorporated that was working very good was a non-negotiable list, meaning if I want to go to McDonald's, I can go to McDonald's, but the only thing that I can eat at McDonald's are the burritos, the burrito wrap, the breakfast burritos. They have the less amount of carbs with the higher protein level, which is what we need to uh, be focusing on, right? Last night, perfect example. I went through the whole day. I ate very well. I am not doing bread right now. Um, and I got to the end of the day and my app was like, you didn't have enough protein today. So I went and got a protein shake, had that before my fast started and it satiated me uh, until today. So, I mean, it's nine o'clock in the morning. Um, my fast will be over around 1130, 12 o'clock. And um, it just, my cells feel better. Like I can feel my cells rejuvenate. I don't know if that sounds weird, but I can feel my cells rejuvenating. Um, and so I feel that um, intermittent fasting is, is good for me. So I just kind of wanted to give you an update. Listen, we're all human. We all fall off the wagon, but here's the beauty is you can jump back on. And having gastric bypass is not the end all be all, but it is certainly a tool that can be utilized to help you in the right direction. My stomach is smaller, so I'm not eating as much, right? So here's the deal. If I allow my stomach to shrink for a couple days and then not reintroduce the caca foods, then I can get back on track, right? Again, it's all here, guys. It's all here. If you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, you can't. And so I'm here to tell you that I'm here to support you. If you want to share in the comments below, I would love to um, support each other. Uh, if you have been on this journey a lot longer than me and you have some insight, I'd love to hear it. Uh, if you're just starting your journey, 
then know that it's yours. It's your journey, right? You can be listening to my journey and have some similarities, but it's not going to be the same. Okay. Just remember, it's not the end all be all. It is not the easy way out. Your mind will allow you to be successful or not. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go and drink some water because I need more. <laughs>